Hi everyone and welcome to Sports Watch. If you like the content, please press the bell icon for further notifications and like, share and subscribe to the channel. India began their Super 8 campaign in the T20 World Cup with a dominant win over Afghanistan. They win by 47 runs, which is a huge margin considering its T20 cricket. It was a tricky wicket to bat on and Rohit Sharma surprisingly won the toss and decided to bat. 180 runs on that pitch was more than enough. Most batters struggled on that pitch. The ball was stopping and it wasn't really easy to find the timing. Rohit Sharma once again failed to adapt to the conditions and got out cheaply. It was the third time in a row that he has gotten out to left on seamers this tournament. And each time he has been deceived by the slowness of the pitch. For a player of Rohit's caliber, it's one time too many. Virat Kohli too struggled with his timing and form. He couldn't break free and the pitch wasn't conducive for stroke play from the beginning. Still, Virat got in and he usually faces his innings nicely once he gets set. But it was uncanny the way he threw his wicket away. Opening the batting has still not clicked for him and India are wasting their best number 3 batter up top. The form of both Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma remain India's biggest concern going forward into the deeper ends of the tournament. However, after the dismissal of Kohli and Rohit, it was up to Surya Kumar Yadav to set the momentum for Team India. Sky is the number one batter in T20s in the world and once again he showed why he is the best T20 player going around. On a pitch where every batsman struggles to get their timing, Sky scored 53 of 28 balls. He was scoring at a strike rate of over 180. It was looking as if he was batting on a different surface altogether. Rashid Khan had the Indian batting order in all sorts of problems, but he couldn't bamboozle Surya Kumar Yadav. Surya swept him for boundary after boundary. He even swept him for a six. His strike rate against Rashid throughout his T20 career is extremely impressive. In the end, Surya was the difference between the two sides. Rishabh Pant also chipped in with his quick fire 20 and Hardik Pandya spent quite amount of time in the crease. After some dull moments with the bat in his previous few matches, Hardik finally stepped up and scored 32 runs. Granted, it might have, to have been the fastest 32, but still, the time that he spent out in the middle was invaluable. India managed to score 181 on the tricky wicket and it was always going to be a total that was more than enough considering the par score on that pitch was 160. And Afghanistan innings never got off to a start. Gumra dismissed Gurbaz who was in top form in his very first over and Ibrahim Zadran was dismissed by Akshar Patel. The ball was stopping onto the bat and when you have Jasprit Bumrah in your bowling lineup, it was always going to be difficult for Afghanistan to score runs. Bumrah was at his miserly best. He gave away only 7 runs of his 4 overs and picked up 3 valuable wickets. In the tournament so far, Jasprit Bumrah has been easily the best bowler going around. His form throughout the tournament will be decisive if India are to have any chances in the later phases of this tournament. Kuldeep Yadav was playing his first match, looked rusty, but still managed to pick up two wickets, one of Gulbadin Naib and other of Omar Zai, two important wickets. But still, he wasn't at his best. Even Ravindra Jadeja didn't look too comfortable with the ball. India still are struggling 
with the middle order batting shivam dube isn't up to the mark he's eating up the place of a yashashi jaiswal or sanju samson dube is known for his explosive power hitting in his spin today he had the perfect opportunity to take the bowling apart but once again he succumbed to the pressure perhaps it's the difference between franchise cricket and international t20 cricket team india need to strengthen their batting lineup they need to have proper players in proper positions give virat kohli his position back at number 3 and open with isashi jaiswal and rohit sharma shivam dube doesn't deserve a place in this squad and if he was so intent on playing dube then play him instead of jadeja you don't need two left arm orthodox spinners in these tracks against teams like australia and bangladesh you are going to struggle it was a clinical performance but from team india to begin their campaign but still they have to tighten a few more areas if they want to go and win the tournament let me know in the comment section what you feel and if you like the content please like share and subscribe to the channel